Hello everyone, I'm back and we're off on another short ride and I have to tell you I do have one little more gadget you know because sometimes we like our gadgets they help us make our life a little bit easier um, on my bike I have this uh, mirror it's not much right but it'll keep me from turning around here it is all right so it'll keep me from turning around possibly losing my balance or whatever here it's just a glance down and I can see behind me on the left you know where the cars are coming so we're gonna see how this works I'm gonna give you my opinion of this I bought it it's um, not something that was sent to me or anything like that so I'm gonna give you my honest opinion it wasn't expensive I think I paid $15 oh let me show you it um, it attaches at the end of your um, handlebars. So it just goes in and there's a, a screw there. I don't know if you can see that. And then you just tighten it. Excellent. There. So let's see how this works. Okay, and I'll give you my, my opinion of it. All right, let's keep going. So here we have a very busy street. And um, I'm riding on the sidewalk. I'm going to go down here. To an elementary school and uh, go over some train tracks. Now, there's not much traffic here, so I can't, and when I look back, I don't see any cars behind me. By the way, I can see, I don't know if you can see that, I can see the whole road behind me. All right, no traffic. And when a car comes up, when a car comes up, maybe I'll do that same thing and you can see what it looks like in the mirror, okay? So we're heading down here to the end of the road to this uh, school and I'm going to head down another road over some tra railroad tracks, okay? All right, I'll see you guys down there. Okay, so if you look in the distance, we are lucky enough to come to the railroad tracks when there's a train. Trains are always awesome to videotape. So let's go. Wait a minute, let's check and see if anyone's behind us. Nope, no one behind us. I like that gadget, you know. I like this mirror. Okay, the trains are going slow, so maybe it's really long and I can get a video shot, shot of the train when it's, uh, it's going on those tracks over here. Okay, I'm gonna pull over and get into position. This is a long one. Look how slow it is. I'm gonna walk, you know what, I'm gonna walk, walk alongside. I'm walking now, okay? So I'm walking. Oh, goodness. Wow, I love that. So I'm walking, look at this. I'm walking as fast as the train. As fast as the train. I've never done that before. Okay, so I do wanna show you one thing. I'm gonna try to zoom in here. I wanted to show you that curve. The track curves, but the train is so long it just goes around the curve and comes around the other side of the curve. You see that? That's awesome. Okay, let's come on back. Let's come on back. There we are. So all of a sudden, it's going faster. And there's my bike next to the road. Bike, train. Okay, I'll see you on the other side of the train. Sorry guys, I couldn't resist shooting the end of the train. And here it comes. Just a 
few more minutes and you'll see it pass in front of us. I'm going to keep the camera stationary. Let's count down, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. There we are. Okay, let's continue. So we're across the train tracks and I wanted to show you what's on the other side, a cemetery. And for some reason, I have this uh, affinity, um, propensity to go into cemeteries. So what do you think we're going to do today? Uh, I'll try not to shoot any names on the gravestones, but uh, I think we should take a very, very quick walk into the cemetery. And, um, you know, it's a reminder of those who lived before us. Now, my wife has some ancestors, and yes, ancestors in here. And um, it's a big cemetery, and I think even back then, here uh, in Ohio, they separated people by their nationality or ethnicity. And um, so we're in the middle here. So on this side, we would have this nationality or that. You know, even in death, people were segregated and separated. So I'm just going to pull off next to this tree here and take a look around. And hopefully I won't get any names to uh, disrespect any of these graves, graves. But as you can see, it's pretty big. Serene over here next to the railroad tracks. The trains aren't very loud, actually. But, um, yeah. This is the cemetery. Okay, let's keep on riding. Bye-bye, ancestors. On down the road now. So, um, we're just riding through a neighborhood here. Wait a minute. Let's see if there are any cars coming. No. All right, no cars coming. Let's keep going. Traffic is easy today. How are you guys doing? Thank you for sticking with me. We only have a couple more minutes on this short ride, so stick with me, okay? Um, you know what? I lived in this in this small town here in northern Ohio in Lake Erie, Sandusky. Uh, I taught here many years ago at the Sandusky High School and so I lived here about seven years and I thought I had seen every road but I don't remember this road at all so this is a new road it look, they all kind of look the same but this one's different a little bit different okay check this way check that way no cars coming anyone behind us Nope. So, let me now give you my quick opinion after only about 15 or 20 minutes of riding with this mirror, bike mirror. I like it. Um, it can be adjusted horizontally, vertically, diagonally, whatever way I want. It's, it's on, uh, the mirror is on a ball, so I can adjust it any way I want it. And it's wide and tall. Let me show what I'm talking about. So here it is vertical. Here it is vertical. But if I want it to be horizontal or diagonal, that is definitely possible. So I'm going to keep it vertical for right now, like this. Because then I can get the bottom of the road, the top of the road. If it's a truck or some tall vehicle, I can see it. So this is road we're on. This is another road. Um, I see a truck coming down. I think what I'm gonna do is cross the road here. Okay, let's do that. Now, 
here we have some movers. Looks like a refrigerator. No, wait a minute. They're bringing in some appliances. Looks like a washer over there. See that? Oh, so you can get that. Um, and oh, an empty lot. Look at that. I wonder how much that is. But these houses do not sell for very much. Um, you understand we're in northern Ohio. And let me go this way. And the factories, New Departure, Ford, have all pulled out of this town. So it's slightly, no, I'm not going to say slightly. I'm going to say it's depressed at this point. Um, it's a lovely town, though. And I think if you were to look into buying here, you would see that it's very, very inexpensive to buy property. Look at that. Woo! No helmet. Um, I think it's being revitalized. Downtown looks very, very good. They've redone it down. You've seen it in other, another video that I showed you about Jackson Street Pier. That look, used to look kind of rough, but now it doesn't. So, the town is revitalizing. And they're bringing in other industries. So, I think... It would be a good bet to buy here, actually. It's a lovely time. Everyone says hi. They don't even know you. And they wave hi to you. So, um, I like, what I'm saying is I like Sandusky an awful lot. Okay, I'm going to continue down the road here. Go back to my father-in-law's house. Um, and put the bike away. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.